Friends, today we delve into Psalm 17. This is a powerful prayer by David. He cries out to God for protection. He faces his enemies with courage. Why? Because he trusts in God's justice. David's words remind us that we can always turn to God. He is our refuge. He is our strength. No matter what challenges we face, God is with us. This psalm is a beautiful song of trust. It reminds us that God is always on our side. Let's explore this psalm together and be inspired by its message of hope. David begins his prayer with a plea for justice. He asks God to listen to his prayer. He wants to come before God with clean hands and a pure heart. Hear me, Lord, my plea is just. Listen to my cry, hear my prayer. It comes from lips free of deceit. Psalm 17, verse 1. These verses are a reminder for us. We should always approach God with sincerity. We should be honest with Him. We should strive to live lives that are pleasing to Him. When we come to God with pure hearts, He hears us. He is faithful to answer our prayers. David continues his prayer by talking about his integrity. He speaks from a place of deep reflection and earnestness, seeking to align his life with the divine principles he holds dear. He wants his life to be a reflection of God's righteousness. This desire is not just a fleeting wish, but a profound commitment to live in a way that honours his faith and values. Though you probe my heart and examine me at night, David says, he is aware that God's scrutiny is constant and thorough. Even in the quiet moments of the night, when the world is still and thoughts run deep, he knows that God is there, observing and understanding his innermost thoughts. Though you test me by fire, you will find nothing wicked in me. This metaphor of being tested by fire speaks to the trials and challenges that purify and reveal true character. David is confident that despite these tests, his integrity remains intact. My mouth has not transgressed. Psalm 17 verses 3 to 4. David emphasizes that his words as well as his actions are in line with his commitment to righteousness. He understands the power of words and strives to ensure that his speech reflects his integrity. David knows that God sees everything. This awareness brings a sense of accountability and a desire to live transparently, knowing that nothing is hidden from the divine gaze. He knows that God tests our hearts. But David is confident. His confidence is not born out of arrogance, but from a sincere effort to live a life that is pleasing to God. He knows that he has lived with integrity. This integrity is a cornerstone of his faith, guiding his actions and decisions. We should strive to live the same way. In our daily lives, we are called to reflect the same commitment to integrity, ensuring that our actions are consistent with our values. Our actions should match our words. This alignment between what we say and what we do is crucial in building trust and demonstrating true integrity. We should be people of integrity. This means being honest, reliable and consistent in all aspects of our lives, whether in public or in private. Let's be honest in our dealings with others. Honesty is a fundamental aspect of integrity, fostering trust and respect in our relationships. Let's be faithful to God in all that we do. Our faithfulness is demonstrated through our actions, reflecting our commitment to live according to the principles we believe in. Living with integrity is not always easy, but it is always worth it. It requires courage, consistency, and a deep sense of purpose. When we live with integrity, we not only honor God, but also inspire those around us to do the same. Integrity builds a foundation of trust and respect. It is the bedrock of strong relationships and a harmonious community. By committing to integrity, we contribute to a better world, one where honesty and righteousness prevail. Let us strive to be examples of integrity in our homes, workplaces and communities. Our actions, no matter how small, can have a profound impact on those around us. As we live with integrity, we become beacons of light in a world that often values convenience over truth. Our commitment to integrity can inspire others to seek the same path, creating a ripple effect of positive change. In conclusion, let us remember David's prayer and his unwavering commitment to integrity. Let us strive to live in a way that reflects our deepest values and honors the divine principles we hold dear. By doing so, we not only enrich our own lives, but also contribute to a more just and compassionate world.
David now uses a beautiful image to describe God's protection. He compares God's love to the shelter of a parent's wings. Keep me as the apple of your eye, hide me in the shadow of your wings. Psalm 17 verse 8. Just like a parent protects their child, God protects us. He keeps us safe from harm. We can find refuge in his love. These verses remind us that we are precious to God. He watches over us. He cares for us deeply. Let's rest in his love and find peace in his presence. Section 5, Our Defender, Our Fortress, verses 10 to 14. David's enemies surround him. They are relentless always seeking to bring him down, to destroy his spirit and his faith. They come at him from all sides like a pack of wolves closing in on their prey. But David stands firm, but he is not afraid. He does not waver or falter. His heart is steadfast, his mind resolute. He knows that he is not alone in this battle. He knows that there is a higher power watching over him, guiding his steps and protecting him from harm. He knows that God is his defender. In the face of overwhelming odds, David finds his strength in the Lord. He draws courage from his faith, knowing that God is his shield and his fortress. No matter how fierce the enemy, no matter how dire the situation, David trusts in God's unwavering protection. They are like a lion hungry for prey, always on the prowl, always seeking to devour. Their eyes are filled with malice, their hearts with cruelty. They are relentless in their pursuit, never resting, never giving up, like a fierce lion crouching in cover. Psalm 17, verse 12. They lie in wait, hidden in the shadows, ready to pounce at the first sign of weakness. But David is not intimidated. He knows that God sees all, that nothing is hidden from his sight. David compares his enemies to lions. They are powerful and dangerous, but they are no match for the power of God. David's faith is his armor, his trust in God, his shield. He knows that with God on his side, he has nothing to fear. They are fierce and dangerous, their strength is formidable, their ferocity unmatched. But David's confidence in God's protection is unshakable. He knows that God's power is greater than any earthly force, that his love is stronger than any enemy. But David trusts in God's strength. He knows that God is his rock, his refuge, his ever-present help in times of trouble. He draws strength from his faith, knowing that God will never leave him nor forsake him. He knows that God will protect him. In the midst of the storm, in the heat of the battle, David finds peace in the knowledge that God is with him. He knows that God's protection is sure, that his love is unfailing. These verses are a reminder for us too. They remind us that no matter what challenges we face, no matter how insurmountable they may seem, we are not alone. We have a defender, a fortress, a God who loves us and protects us. We may face challenges in life. We may encounter trials and tribulations, moments of doubt and fear. But we can take heart knowing that God is with us. He is our strength, our shield, our ever-present help in times of need. But we don't have to be afraid. God is our fortress. He is our refuge, our safe place. In him we find peace and security. In him we find the strength to face whatever comes our way. He will fight for us. He will stand by our side, defending us against all that seeks to harm us. He is our protector, our champion, our ever-present help in times of trouble. He will give us the victory. With God on our side, we can overcome any obstacle, defeat any enemy. We can stand firm in the face of adversity, knowing that we are not alone. We are protected, we are loved, we are victorious. Section 6, Eternal Satisfaction, verse 15. In the final verse of Psalm 17, David shifts his focus from the present to the future. He moves from the immediate struggles and challenges he faces to a vision of eternal peace and fulfillment. This transition is significant because it shows a deep trust in God's ultimate plan and a profound hope that transcends the temporary trials of life. He looks forward to the day when he will see God face to face. This anticipation is not just a fleeting wish, but a confident expectation rooted in his faith. David's longing to see God is a powerful testament to his relationship with the divine, a relationship built on trust, love, and unwavering faith. As for me, I will be vindicated and will see your face. This statement reflects David's assurance that despite the injustices and hardships he endures, he will ultimately be justified and will stand in the presence of God. 
It is a declaration of faith that God's justice will prevail and that he will be rewarded for his steadfastness. When I awake, I will be satisfied with seeing your likeness. Psalm 17 verse 15. This verse beautifully captures the essence of eternal satisfaction. The imagery of awakening to see God's likeness suggests a new beginning, a fresh start where all earthly troubles fade away in the light of God's presence. It is a promise of ultimate fulfillment and peace. This verse is a beautiful reminder of the hope we have in Christ. It reassures us that no matter what we face in this life, there is a glorious future awaiting us. A future where we will be in the presence of our Creator, experiencing a joy and peace that surpasses all understanding. One day we will be free from all suffering. This promise of freedom from pain and sorrow is a cornerstone of Christian faith. It gives us strength to endure the trials of this world, knowing that they are temporary and that a better eternal life awaits us. We will be in the presence of God forever. This eternal presence is not just a distant hope, but a reality that shapes our lives today. It influences our actions, our decisions, and our outlook on life. Knowing that we will be with God forever gives us a sense of purpose and direction. And in His presence, we will find true and lasting satisfaction. This satisfaction is not based on material wealth or earthly achievements, but on a deep spiritual fulfillment that only God can provide. It is a satisfaction that fills our hearts with peace, our minds with clarity, and our souls with joy. In God's presence, we find our true home, our eternal rest, and our ultimate joy. Section 7. A Prayer for Protection and Guidance Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for the example of David. He faced his giants with courage because he trusted in you. Lord, we ask for your protection today. Keep us safe from harm. Guide our steps. Help us to live with integrity. May our lives be a reflection of your love. We trust in your promises. We know that you are with us always. In Jesus' name, amen. Section 8. You are precious to God. Friends, remember that you are precious to God. He loves you more than you can imagine. He wants to protect you. He wants to guide you. He wants to give you a hope and a future. So put your trust in him. Live each day with integrity and know that no matter what challenges you face, God is with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. You are his beloved child and he will always be there for you. Believe it and receive it. Have a blessed day.